Well, hello everybody and happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday, September 12th, 2023 at 7 p.m. Eastern time and we are in Chesapeake, Virginia and this is Lisa Freeman coming to you live and uh, that's from stampingwithlisa.com in case you want to go there and order. Um, thank you for joining me tonight. I see a bunch of you guys already on here so I know you are excited to see how to make some napkin cards. And I know I've done several videos on how to do that, but today we're going to do a new technique. And um, I got the fan on, so, <laughs> so these are going to blow. <laughs> um, and Donna Mangeli is the one who showed me this, and um, she sent me a link on YouTube to somebody who did this kind of technique. Instead of using the glue stick like I usually do, we're going to do it with saran wrap. Well, not really saran wrap because I bought the cheap Walmart brand. And then somebody said that if you don't use saran wrap or glad cling wrap or the good kind, it's not going to work. But mine worked fine. So uh, I got the cheap one and it worked. Um, but I, believe it or not, I didn't even own saran wrap or any kind of cling wrap because I used that, uh, I forget what it's called, press and seal, the glad press and seal. That's what I always use because that works better. But for this technique, you need like cling wrap and you also need some parchment paper so i had to buy both of those i didn't have parchment paper so i bought some of that and i just got the walmart brand plastic wrap so you need both of those you need a little iron which i didn't have well, i had one regular iron that i never use but um you need like a craft iron so i just bought this on amazon um it works pretty pretty well. I probably would buy a different one because I don't like the way this little knob is on here to turn it on because you can't really see it that well. So I probably would not buy this one again um, if I was buying one, but there's tons of them. Just look up Craft Iron on Amazon and you'll find one. Um, there's a bunch of them for like 20 or 30 bucks. Uh, a lot of people recommended the Cricut uh, Craft Iron, um, but that one was a little pricey, so I didn't get that one. Um, let me say hello to everybody. So, oh, hey, Mel. Hey, whoops. Hey, Beth. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Mary. Hey, Starla. Hey, Myra. Hey, Mary. Oops, already said hey, Mary. Um, hey, Julie. Hey, Bobby from Virginia. Another Virginian on here. Um, let's see. Oh, I got a little fruit fly in here or something. A gnat. Um, hey, Tony. Hey, Diana. Um, hopefully it's cooling down for y'all a little bit. It was only in the 80s today, so we had a cold front come through. <laughs> it's only like 85 instead of 95. <laughs> it's supposed to be in the 70s, though, in a few days, so I'm excited about that. Um, let's see. Eating pear crisp you made from pears you picked last week from a friend's trees. Mm, they do not like pears. Oh, well, that's good. I'm not a big pear person either. That's probably one of my least favorite fruits. Um, I'm more like peaches and I love apple crisp, blueberries, blackberries, just about anything. But pears are probably not my favorite fruit either. Um, hey, Diane. Hey, Karen. Oh my gosh, now everybody goes flying by. This always happens. Um, so have you gotten, have some of you got, gotten your um, napkin swaps back in the mail? Hopefully, I know the first group has probably all gotten theirs, but the second group went out, let me see, someone out Friday, someone out Saturday, and someone out Monday, because I, I could stick almost all of them in my mailbox. I put about six each day. So hopefully some of y'all have gotten those. So these are some from both the swaps that were my favorites. I just picked out fall ones. So I wanted to do some fall cards today, and I am super upset because... <laughs> I was all excited so I could order more of that autumn paper and it is sold out again. <laughs> so if you haven't gotten any, it's already gone. <laughs> so, I had a class this morning. I think it came back in yesterday and I was like, well, I'm going to wait till today because I had a class this morning and I figured some people would probably order. So I was going to put all the orders in today and uh, went to put the orders in and it was already sold out. So... I was very upset. So I don't know if any of you guys got some while 
it was available for a whole one day. So um, hopefully you did. Never made a map napkin card, Robin, what? I've done like five videos on making napkin cards and you haven't made one yet? Now the other way I do them is super, super easy using just the glue stick. And you can use any kind of glue stick you want, just like a regular old kid's glue stick. Not, not like liquid glue, but a glue stick. So it's like the, um, you know, waxy kind of stuff that is in a stick. It's not liquidy. So you don't want to use liquid glue on a napkin card because that will ruin it. So let's see. You tried stretch tight from Costco. Well, how did we get on tights from Costco? <laughs> I'm just looking at some of these comments. Uh, hey, Rita from Virginia. Joan says it's chilly. What? 65 in North Dakota. Oh, my gosh. And 41 tonight. You're already heading to winter. That's crazy. Um, let me see. Yeah, everybody's upset about the paper. I don't understand that. If they knew it was going to be so popular, why didn't they order like 100,000 packs of it? So they wouldn't sell out in one day. Um, yeah. I was only going to order like five packs so I could do classes with it next month. But, oh well, I didn't get any. I'm sure some of those people doing like the paper swaps, you know, the sampler things, you know, there's some people that do those, which is great, but they probably ordered, you know, a hundred packs of it. So I just wanted like five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jean says, yeah, it's beautiful if you can get it. True. I only have three packs. Well, I have two packs now. I went through one pack already. Yeah. I don't even understand that either. Okay. And I am sorry. I only have one joke for you guys tonight. I know I promised two, but I swear I looked all over for jokes and I, I could only find one. All right. So we're going to make some cards. So I really don't have any made yet. I um, played around. So this is what I did so far. So I took some of these napkins and I made the, um, the front part. So I just made the front of it. So this is ready to go on a piece of cardstock, and I put this one. So I made one going, this is this napkin right here. So I made one going up and down, like right there, and then I made one going across. So the napkins are perfect size. They're six and a half inches across and up and down square. So you can make a horizontal card or a vertical card, whatever you wanna do, because usually it'll go either way. So I did a lot of them both directions. And then this is as far as I got because um, I kind of got sidetracked today and didn't start making the cards till about three. And once I sat down, I started making a whole pile of these. And by the time I finished, it was almost time for the video. So I didn't get to finish making any cards. <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna make the cards together tonight. So that was the farthest I got was this one. And then there's one. This one is from this napkin, so I love that. And what I really like about this, so it's totally different. Like when you use the glue stick, you can kind of still tell that it's a napkin. This actually like melts to the paper and it's almost like it's just cardstock because you can't even t feel that it's like um, a different texture or anything. It really is almost just like a piece of cardstock that's got the print on it. Um, this one is from this napkin here, and I love that. There's some awesome, awesome napkins in that uh, napkin swap. Um, this one goes this way, and this was the horizontal version of it. And this one was one of my favorite napkins in there. So this was this one. So this napkin I did going up and down, and I did across. So you can kind of put it wherever you want because you have so much extra room. That's why I like the bigger napkins. I have the fan on. I should have turned it off. All right. So there's that. Then I got these two. Now this one, I put it on white first and I said, oh, it was just too white. Oh, now here, this is, this one didn't stick very well right there. I should probably stick it, iron it just a little bit more. I'll put that to the side. Um, but it was like too white when I put the white behind it. So actually... I put um, crumb cake behind it and I think it came out better. So I like that one. 
And then this one I really liked. This one, oh, I didn't, oh, here it is. It's this one right here. Oh, actually, it's different. I think part of it, it had like one square of this and one square of this. I used the other part of that. So, um, but it was part of the same napkin. So love, love, love these napkins. So I'm gonna show you how to make these and then we're gonna make a couple cards. We'll finish some that I already did. But they're so easy and all you need is the iron. Well, actually, you need a couple more things. You need the cling wrap and the parchment paper and napkins. And I might put this out of the way for a minute. And <laughs> these are all blowing all over the place. <laughs> um, I did buy this iron um, pad. This is just like a thing to protect your surface. So I put this down and then I just got a piece of, this is the um, like chipboard that you get in the back of a pack of the specialty designer paper. So it's kind of like cardboard. And then a silicone piece. Now, if you don't have all this stuff, it's probably okay as long as you have this pad. But um, uh, I saw a tip that if you use the silicone pad, it is easier to get it, um, the saran wrap or cling wrap off. So I decided to use that. So I cut a bunch of card fronts here. So mostly white, these are all white. And I got a couple of vanilla and crumb cake. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to make a couple of them. So let's pick, doesn't really matter. These are the ones I brought with me, but this one was a little hard to see through because it was kind of dark. This one is like my favorite. I love this napkin and this one too. So any particular one you guys want to see, I'm going to do a couple and then we'll make some cards. So any, which one is your favorite of these napkins? Let me scroll down. Oops. Trying to bum festive napkins from my friends. I will take anyone's warm weather if they want to trade. <laughs> Debbie Spicer loved pears. Oh, pear sauce like applesauce. Hmm. I have never seen that before or heard of that. Gotta try it. Sunflowers, white pumpkins, orange pumpkins, sunflowers. The wagon, the sunflowers, wheelbarrow. Well, we have everybody picking different ones, so... <laughs> I know, I love the wheelbarrow too. I think that's a cute one. All right, we'll do that one and the sunflower one. How about that? All right, so we've already got the other ones made so we can make some cards with those. So I'm just gonna set these aside. All right, so the first thing you need to do, and I've already kind of done this, is cut your napkin into one square. So the napkin comes in four squares and I just cut it down to one square. Then, so you got the whole napkin here like this. And some of them, like this one did not have the same pattern on all four sides, but that's okay. So you get the napkin. Most of them have the same pattern on all four, so you can make four. This one you can only make two, but that's okay. It actually worked out pretty good because I moved this over. And when I did the, the card with this one long ways, I moved it over. So I did my piece of paper like actually over into this. So I did it from like here to here and put a little bit of this on there. So it came out pretty good. So if you get one like that, you can just, oh look, <laughs> piece of the back came off. All right, so all the napkins have at least two plies, some have three, so you have to peel off the extra ply and make sure it's just the one layer of napkin. So usually if it's three ply, the, the, the third ply will just fall right off. But if it's two ply, it's a little bit trickier to get off. If you can't get it with your fingernails, um, sometimes if you rub the edges together or put a little bit of tape around your finger and just stick it and it'll pull apart. So here's that. So when you pull the layers off, the napkin really should be almost see-through. And um, yeah, it's gonna blow all over the place because the fan's on. And so we'll do the same thing with this one. This one's a little bit easier. Sometimes they're really, oh, actually I think there's three plies on this. Hold on, let me see. 
This one might have one more layer. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Yeah, this one has one more layer. But they really, really should be almost see-through when you pull it apart. <laughs> this is gonna be blowing everywhere. All right, we're gonna start with the sunflower. So if you put the white piece behind it, it's gonna be like that. And if you put the crumb cake, so that's white, and you can put it wherever you want. You know, if you want that one as your main focal point, or if you want more of the green, you can move it over. Doesn't matter. And then if you put the crumb cake behind it, you get a little bit darker version, which I liked that better. So what do you guys like? Do you like the white or you like the crumb cake behind it? Let me see, pumpkins in a car. A lot of people like that pumpkin in the cart, the wheelbarrow one. White, white. Oh, you guys like the white better, okay. Well, since I, well, I already have one done with crumb cake, which is this one. So let me put it next to it so you can see. Where did it go here? All right, so here's the crumb cake version. And then this would be like the, oh, that's a different part of it, isn't it? That's funny. I guess this napkin didn't come exactly the same on all four sides either. So it's got a different, totally different um, sunflower there. Let me see what the other one looks like. Well, okay, I know I had two of these. Oh, I forget. Oh, that's funny. Okay. That's really weird because it's the same napkin. Must have had two different sides to it. Um, okay. All right, so that's what it looks like on white, and this is what it looks like on crumb cake. It is the same napkin, but I guess one side's different than the other side. Um, well, it's like half and half. I'm gonna go ahead and do white since I already have the crumb cake one, so you can see the difference. All right, so we're gonna start with our piece of cardstock. Then you're gonna put a piece of your cling wrap down. So just grab a little piece. It just has to be bigger than your card front, so you don't need a ton. And just stick it on there. It does not have to be perfectly straight or anything, because it's gonna melt on there. So if it's not straight, it's no big deal. Everything out on the edge is gonna be thrown away. You just need some on top of here. All right, then we're gonna put our napkin down wherever you want it. So I kind of want some of that green and blue on there. So put it there. Then you put your parchment paper on top and you can see where it is. Oops, I forgot to turn my iron on, hold on. It only takes a second to heat up. And I turned it on all the way high so it'll take about 15 seconds to heat up. I need to heat this one again because it's just right there. It didn't stick very good. So if that happens, just heat it again and it will stick great. Okay. Whoops. White one shows more of the colors. Yeah. Like the blue with the white. Yes. And the blue, I brought a whole pack of paper, uh, like a stack of paper, different colors to use. All right, it should be hot. So you really need the parchment paper because you don't want the saran wrap to stick to your iron because if that happens, then your iron will get ruined. So we're just gonna iron this and let it melt. And hopefully it's hot enough. And really get the corners good because that's the place it tends to not stick. All right, so then you're gonna lift it up. And let's see, kind of pull it up and see. Okay, it's not all the way stuck. It's pretty close, but not all the way. And you wanna put your iron on really high, I think, because if you don't, it's not gonna melt. 
plastic wrap. Somebody said don't use Costco plastic wrap because that one definitely doesn't melt. All right, so that should be good. And then we're just gonna let it cool for a minute. And then we're gonna lift this up. And it comes right off of that silicone. And then the plastic wrap kind of just melts away. So you can kind of pull that off. So then you just have your napkin. I'm gonna stick the iron on one more time really quick. Just to make sure it's really good. All right, and then we're just gonna let this cool for just a sec and cut it. And see how it's stuck? It's stuck good. And this is the good thing, is it really does not come off once you have it done. So you're just gonna cut right up on the edge. should be really good all the way around stuck. So this one looks like it did really well. Um, but just to be on the safe side, I'm just gonna heat it one more second. And also throw this other one over here under there for just a second where that bubble is right there. And that should melt it right back. And there you go. So now no more bubble. All right, so those are done. We're gonna do one more. We've got this one with the wheelbarrow. So we're gonna do the same thing. So just get another piece and we're just gonna, I think this one definitely goes better up and down. Now this one is the opposite of the one I did because the other one had this little sign on this side and the wheelbarrow was going the other way. So I guess some of the napkins have like a little bit different patterns on them. All right, so we need, um, whoops, almost went on the floor. All right, just a tip, don't have your fan on while you're doing these, because it'll blow all over the place. All right, so put your <laughs> cling wrap down. All right, yes, the silicone comes in handy because otherwise it would be blowing all over the place. Still warm. All right, and then you want to situate this. Like, I want some of that wheel. It's a little bit hard to see the paper there, but there it is right there. And just make sure you get your words on there a little bit straight. All right, so there's my top. All right, then let's put the parchment paper and heat it up. And you could just sit here like all day long watching TV and just ironing these napkins and making a bunch of these. And I don't even like ironing, but this is kind of fun because it just kind of melts. And I love these napkins. Now, I didn't take the time to go through and find like stamps to put in the inside of the card, but you know, any of the fall stamps with the leaves or the pumpkins or whatever would work. Uh, let's see how that is. That's pretty good. Maybe just one more second. So um, this weekend, I had a little bit of free time and I just happened to find out that Virgin River was back. So I started watching it and I ended up binge watching all of the episodes. And I'm really upset now it's over already. So there's only 10 episodes and I watched them all. I'll just pull this up here. 
So this, this cling wrap really just sticks right to the silicone. All right, so there's our napkin. And it's stuck pretty good. Let's see. See how good that sticks? Love it. Virgin River and Iron On Napkins. <laughs> Let's make a watch date. <laughs> yeah, so you can watch Virgin River, all the episodes. And I mean, they, ugh. I tell you what, I just want to move to Virgin River and I want to date Preacher or Jack, either one. Preacher's really cute, but, well, they're both cute. But, um, I just like that town. I just want to, like, move there and... Does anybody live in a town that's like Virgin River? It kind of reminds me of like a modern day Mayberry or something. You know, where everybody's just like friendly and knows every, well, I guess not everybody's friendly because there are a couple bad guys in there, but. All right, so here we go with this one. Let me just cover it up one more time and just heat it. I like to do that after I cut it just to make sure, oops, I get my, edge is good. So now I'm going to turn my iron off. And so that's how you make the actual napkin front. And oops, I got one more little piece right here. There we go. All right, so now we're done with all that. So we can get that out of the way. And we're going to make some cards. And that, that, um, Whatchamacallit, parchment paper, you can just keep using over and over and over. I, I did all the cards with the same piece. All right, so now we've got all these. So we can decide. We'll do two. Gosh, there's so many. This is the same as that one. but So this is the one I started, so <laughs> we'll kind of finish that one, but... These are got the same. All right, so which ones do you guys want to do as cards? Small town life, I know. What's that song that Jason Aldean said? Song. Oh. Oh, Faith is on here. Faith Inspired Creations. Where did you find the mini iron? I got it on um, Amazon, but I was saying I really don't like this one I got. So if I was going to buy it again, I think I'd get a different one. Only because the knob right here is like underneath and you can't really see it that well. So I'd rather have one that has like something on the side instead of in the middle like this. Because um, it works okay, but it's hard to see the words on the nozzle to turn it so um oh jay lynn never heard of virgin river what <laughs> oh my gosh it's the best show ever all right wheelbarrow fall leaves white sunflower sunflower pumpkin cart could you put it oh in the envelope flap yes <gasps> i didn't even think about that oh you want to do that Yes, you can put these on the envelope flap. You want to do that? The only thing is, if you do that when you put the napkin on it, you just got to be careful because you don't want to get it like on the whole um, thing. So you'd have to make sure you put your, well, you could put it on the whole thing, I guess, if you want to. But I would say if you put it on a napkin flap, it probably... You just have to make sure that your saran wrap is only on that flap right there and not down here. Or make sure your napkin just is right at that edge. Because you don't want it to get all over everything. So that would be a little more difficult. Hmm. I guess you could. I would probably go ahead and just use the glue stick way with that. Because I think it'd just be harder to get it just on the flap and not on the whole entire envelope. Although, if you did it this way, well, it wouldn't fit. I think if you just put the saran wrap and just put it down here like this, you could do it. But I'd have to go up this way. Yeah, I'll have to work on that one and see. <laughs> I don't know. 
Okay, do we have like 50 different answers for this? Uh, a lot of people say the cart or the wheelbarrow and the two pumpkins, the trees, slide the silicone under the flap. Oh, that's a good idea. Put the silicone under the flap. Think about the glue on the back. Iron it on light paper, cut and affix to flap. True. I know, I wanna live in a little small town. The only thing is if you live in a small town, you probably gotta drive like half an hour or hour to get to like Walmart or um, you know, somewhere like that to do your shopping. Okay, so we've narrowed it down to, I think, well, did anybody say these pumpkins or everybody's talking about the white pumpkins? Let's see. Cart. A lot of people want this, so we'll do one of these. Isn't that funny how they're opposite? So that was two different sides of the napkin. So one had the words on this side and one had the words on that side and the carts were going different ways. Interesting, I never realized that. And okay, so we're gonna do one of these. We'll just do this one right here. And which other one? We've got those two or the sunflowers. White pumpkins. Um, 20 minutes to Walmart and TJ Maxx. Instacart, Instacart is crazy expensive. The white pumpkins, yep, I love these. And sunflowers are pretty too truck with snow. All right, sunflower on white. Okay, so we want to do those two. I do have another video that has actually the same napkin on it using the um, sticker paper to do it with it instead of the glue stick. So you could check that one out too. I think, I think I'm just going to finish this. I don't know. Well, okay, we'll do these two. All right, so there we go. So what we're gonna do, let's see. First, we gotta pick a color to go with this. So I brought a whole pile of cardstock. So we can just look at, first we'll do this one. So that old olive would probably work. Old olive, oh, that looks pretty. I like that. Or pecan pie. That one matches perfect too. Okay, so we've got Old Olive, Pecan Pie. Oh, this one, Lost Lagoon, matches the wagon. Look at that. Perfect. <gasps> Look at that. Okay, which one? All three of those go. Which one you like the best? So here's Lost Lagoon with the wagon. That matches perfect. Or this, that's Pecan Pie, matches the the wagon wood or old olive matches the greenery. I think I like Lost Lagoon. Yep, Lost Lagoon. Most people like the Lost Lagoon. Okay, so that's Lost Lagoon. All right, so that one's good. All right, then for this one, that looks like, nope, not quite, not quite. So this one, the pecan pie, not the old olive. Let's see what else. I brought lots of fall colors. Garden green, nope. How did I not pick one that goes with this one? <laughs> what is this one? Copper clay, nope. Oh, you know what? I think espresso is in here. Oh, the blue goes good. That blue goes good. Or espresso. Oh, I like that. That matches perfect. The good thing is almost every napkin that you have will match some kind of Stampin' Up! color. That gray doesn't go. All right, so I think it's down to one of these three. What do you think? Um, pecan pie, crumb cake. Oh, I didn't bring crumb cake. Espresso, espresso, pecan pie. Nobody likes, this is boho blue. The boho blue, it only goes with that one Okay, so it's down to these two. So which one do we think it goes better with? 
espresso. Okay. All right. So we've got espresso and this one. So we'll do this one first. And you know what? I need to get this stuff out of here. Let me see. That's cool. Oh, all right. Let me move all this junk out of the way. Okay. Bring my other pad back. I need my, my good pad here. All right, so we're gonna do this one first. And I need a white for the inside of each one. So we'll get that. Actually, maybe a vanilla would go better with that one. Let me see. Do I have vanilla? I know I brought a vanilla somewhere. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put vanilla with that one in the inside. Okay, so that one's there. This will be the inside. I didn't bring anything to stamp on the inside. Sorry, folks. But you know what would go good is that little um, stencil that I used the other day with the sunflower on it. That would be pretty to do on the inside. All right, now I've got a couple ribbons I brought. That one doesn't match. Um, I got a one in thread. And I have a little white um, thing or we have a little tag we could do so let me see if I've got words we've got birthday wishes which would fit on either one and I brought espresso ink all right so you want the tag or the um, I don't know what you call that ruffled ruffled one which one would you rather have? Ruffle or tag? Tag, tag, tag. Fancy tag. Ruffled tag. Where did you get the pad? Um, Amazon. I have to put the link in there. I got them all from Amazon. Everything I got was from Amazon. Even, the, except for the plastic crap I got from Walmart. <laughs> Everything else. Um, okay, most people want the tag. So we'll do the tag and stamp with espresso so we'll do birthday wishes on here and oh that's pretty love it and you know we could dip it I'm gonna dip it why this is old pad <laughs> it doesn't even dip well let's just roll the ends okay it gives it a little bit of color though all right, and then how about, um, yeah, I think the only ribbon I brought that's gonna work is this linen thread. Um, darn. Oh, you know what might work? Wait a minute. I have this one. That one might work if we cut it. Let's see. If we cut this, a little bit. And put it through here. And then tie the linen thread around it. Let's try that. Oops. that would be pretty and then we'll just fray it a little bit um, and we'll do a little bow how about that how do you like winging it with Lisa today I'm not a very good winging it person because normally I have everything all ready to go and you don't get to pick <laughs> anything <laughs> I'm not very good on the fly all right, and we can fray that a little bit in just a second. Let's get a bow on here. And, whoo, not cooperating. Okay, there we go. Oops. Okay, and then let's cut this at an angle. 
All right, and then just fray it just a little bit. I like that kind of messy look. What do you think? All right, and then we're gonna put this on with just glue. I opened a brand new thing of glue. And put that, you really don't have to do hardly anything with these cards because the napkin really does all the work for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you guys. Oh yeah, don't forget to th thumbs up, thumbs up, dip it, dip it good. Dip it, dip it good. Oh, card swap. Thank you, Carol. Oh, thank you for bringing that up. I was meant to talk about that tonight. Okay, so the card swap. A lot of you guys have emailed me about the card swap. I'm not stamping anything because I didn't bring anything. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. I did bring a leaf. That's not going to really go, is it? Uh, it'll go. No. I think I'll just leave it blank and do it later. Um, so the card swap. I've already had like 20-some people. So I think what I'm going to do is split it into two groups and um, have like maybe, do you guys want to do like 12 or 15, 12 cards each maybe, or 15 cards each? A glue dot. Oh, Maria says do a glue dot just lightly touched to the back layer of the napkin helps with pulling it apart. All right, so we'll just put that on here with some dimensionals. And um, so everybody that signed up, make sure you email me and don't send me a message like on Facebook or something, because I have to have your email in order to send you the real directions. Because I'm gonna send directions. If you did the, the napkin swap, I sent you the guidelines with that. and. I'd say 75% of you did great and 25% of you didn't follow the rules, but <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> but with the card swap, you really want to make sure everybody follows the same rules. So I'll put that right there. And I love this little frayed look. Isn't that pretty? I love it. I'm just gonna tack a glue dot right behind the bow to keep it in place. And we're gonna try some shimmer spray and see how it works. A lot of people said that they do shimmer spray on the napkins and it works great. One time I tried it and it didn't work, so I've been kind of scared to do it, but we're gonna try it. And oh, let me see, I got some gems here too. We have some gold ones would go really pretty. Um, my take your pick tool is hiding. All right, so we're gonna have to grab some. All right, so what we're gonna do is just set a, a number. I think 12 is probably good. And then we're gonna make a 12 plus one because you're gonna have an extra one for me because I'm gonna have these groups. I'm not gonna make like a whole bunch of cards. So just to make sure I get one of everybody's for doing all the work, um, you're gonna do 12 plus one, so 13 total. And then let's put one right in the middle of the seven. And um, I'll send the rules out though. Don't do anything until I send you the rules and tell you exactly what to do. But so what you do is you end up making, uh, let's say this was my card that I was gonna do, just for example. So if this was my card, I'd make 13 of them. So 12 plus one is 13. So the one is gonna go directly to me. I keep that, but you're gonna get 12 different ones back. So you'd make 13 of the same cards. You're gonna get 12 different ones back. I'm not gonna send you your own back because that'd be silly. You could just make an extra one for yourself. So you'll get 12 different cards back in the mail and you're gonna have to do same thing we did with the um, uh, postage paid envelopes back to yourself. But um, a lot of you guys didn't send enough postage on there because there were different weights of napkins and some of you guys sent really thin napkins and you just based your weight based on that to come back. And the back, the pile going back was like this thick because a lot of the napkins were like three ply. So um, I just stuck extra postage on all the ones that needed it. So don't worry about that. I, you know, that's okay. But, um, but going back, I would say just add a little bit 
Um, and we're gonna have to do at least a couple layers for the cards. So don't do just like one piece of cardstock, white cardstock folded and stamp something on it because that would be not fair to people who are gonna do like really, really nice cards with a bunch of layers and you know, fancy folds and all that different stuff. So you wanna really make a great card. So um, I see a lot of y'all saying you wanna do the swap. So make sure you email me, this is my email stampgirl2 at cox.net and I'll just divide the groups into groups of like 12 or 13 or you know we can always have a couple extra people in there but you'll definitely get back um 12 different cards than you send so I will send everybody the rules probably by Friday so the cutoff date to sign up will be Thursday and Friday I'll send out an email to everybody who is in the groups with the directions and I'll give you like you need to at least have probably a, a week to make them I would say so let me see Friday is the 11th for 15th all right let's say all the swaps will be due by the um, let's say by the 30th. Is that good, do you think? That'll give you two weeks. 12, <laughs> Jalen says 12 cards in one week. <laughs> They're the same card. You only have to make one card, <laughs> then just make 12 of them. <laughs> Did you mail out groups? Yes, all of the napkins have been mailed back, Donna. Um, I think yours went out Saturday, so you should be getting it soon. Yes, only Stampin' Up! products, only current Stampin' Up! products, but um, I'll send out all the directions with everything that you need to know on Friday, so just, just keep in mind, it'll be all current Stampin' Up! products, and you have to make 13 cards total of the same card, not 13 different cards, okay? All right, so here's card one. Let me spray it, see what happens. Everybody cross your fingers. Hope it's not gonna mess up. Oh, it didn't mess up. Okay, can you see that? Let's do a little bit more. Gorgeous. All right, so there's one card. All right, now we're gonna do the other one. Look at how perfect that matches, wow. I love how Stampin' Up! cardstock matches the napkins perfectly. All right, so this vanilla will go on the inside. This will go here. And I think this ribbon, that matches pretty good with that too. All right, so let's do the same. Oh, we gotta do vanilla. So I could do just words on this or, let me see, I brought, did I bring anything vanilla? I did not. Okay, so we're just gonna do words on this strip of vanilla. And what did I bring that would fit? This one? I think that'll fit. All right, and we can do, I think pecan pie would go good with that. Hopefully these words will fit on this little teeny piece of cardstock. This is just a half an inch. Oh, it's perfect. Perfect. Oh, there's something in here. It's like a piece of plastic. Okay, so then let's, oh, dip it. I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna rip it. Okay, and we'll dip it in there. This is good when you don't have a back piece to put on it, so it still has like that edge around it. Oh, that looks good, yes. That looks really good. Okay, and I think, I actually think this ribbon might go, that gold ribbon. I think that will go good. 
What do you guys think about the gold ribbon? You like that gold ribbon or um, I brought the copper ribbon, but I don't think that matches. It's too, mm, I don't think it matches very good. What do you think? Maybe put both of them. Oh, that looks pretty. How about that? I like it. What do you guys think? I like it. Okay, we're going to do that. We'll do both. Okay. So, let's put that around the back. And tape it. Cut too much. Oops. And it's crooked. Okay. All right, and then we're going to put this right on top. Oh, it's not going to stick. stick long enough for me to get the card on. Okay. Oh, it's a little bit crooked. Okay. All right. And then we're going to put that on with green glue. I really like these two ribbons together. I never would thought about doing that. Love it. Just kind of tones it down a little bit. Love it. Love it. Love it. And that matches perfect now that you put it underneath the vanilla ribbon. All right. And then we're going to put the thankful. Let's put it. What do you guys think? Where should we put that? We're going to put this in the inside. Where should the thankful go? <laughs> I'm, I'm torn. Should we put it down here? Or like kind of on top of the ribbon? What do you think? What do you guys think over the ribbon? Lost my mouth. On the ribbon, not over the wheel. Okay. I like the ribbon above the ribbon. Okay. All right. So we'll put that on with dimensionals too. So, oh, you know what else I watched? Um, the summer I turned pretty. So last year was season one and I talked about it last year and a lot of you guys watched it. So I didn't realize it had a season two. I thought it was just like a, um, like a little short series, but it actually has a season two. So that's, it was good. All right, and then, should we do some gems on here again? I got a, three gold ones left. I can stick them on. <gasps> Oops, what did I just do? Somehow I got something on there. I don't know what that is, let's see. I don't like that one there, but it's stuck. Okay, so we're going to have to leave it. Okay, let's just spritz a little bit more. Whoops, I forgot to put scrap paper down. Yep, the shimmer spray works good. It doesn't do anything to the napkin. 
Love it. All right, so there you go. Oh, I forgot to um, tell you guys about the card kit too. So Saturday, we're gonna have a new card kit. I haven't come up with it yet. The one right now is the Noel one, except I took one of the cards for class today. So I've only got two, but you'll get three, um, a set of three um, supplies to make those cards. And that's if your order's $50 or more and you use the host code. And if your order is $100 or more and use the host code, you get the gems also. I forgot, I got happy mail. So this card is from Diane Baldwin. And this is a napkin card. So she made a napkin card. This is one of the napkins um, that was in the swap. So she made a card. I think that was her napkin. And she made a card with it. So love it. That is gorgeous. So that's just, just the napkin and then a circle um, stamped with the leaves. I don't know where those leaves are from, but they match perfectly. So love that card. So that's a napkin card. And she embossed it with the... Um, the leaf embossing folder. Love it. Love, love, love it. All right, so let me see. And oh, joke, joke, joke. Don't let me forget the joke. So you love these cards. This one, you can really see that shimmer spray on there. Love it. I love this ribbon. That looks so pretty like that. Because it just tones it down just enough so that it matches the, um, look at the difference. So that's what it looks like without the vanilla on top. And it's just too shiny, but put it under that and it looks really pretty. Love it. I don't know what I just did to mess that card up right there on the words, but love it. So I think this card was, this napkin was in both of the swaps. I'm pretty sure. So everybody should be getting that one. And this one I think was just in one of them. All right, I got a joke, so hold on, let me pull the joke up. Um, this one might take you a minute to get it. I had to read it twice. <laughs> okay. A father buys a lie detector robot that slaps people when they lie. I wish I really had one of these too. I would love to have a, a lie detector robot. Um, he decides to test it out at dinner one night. Wouldn't it be nice if you were dating and you could have one of these and just like... Every time I go on a date, I would I, I just never know if the guys are telling me the truth or not. And I really wish I had a lie detector so I could do this. But anyway, okay, back to the joke. Um, he decides to test it out dinner one night. The father asks his son what he did that afternoon. The son says, oh, I did some schoolwork. The robot, robot slaps the son. The son says, okay, okay. I was at a friend's house watching movies. Dad asks, what movie did you watch? The son says, Toy Story. The robot slaps his son again. <laughs> The son says, okay, okay, we were watching porn. <laughs> Dad says, what? <laughs> At your age, I didn't even know what porn was. The robot slaps the dad. <laughs> the mom laughs and says, well, he certainly is your son. <laughs> the robot slaps the mother. <laughs> you get it? It's not really his son. <laughs> It took me a minute because I'm like, why did the robot slap the mom? <laughs> and then I thought about it. I'm like, oh, I get it now. <laughs> it's the milkman's son. <laughs> All right. So I hope you like that. Sorry, I didn't have two, but I, I just am running out of jokes. <laughs> you guys need to find me some jokes and send them to me. So I thought that was funny. All right, you guys, I think that we are done. So I hope you liked all of these napkins and all these other ones i love these they're so pretty this one goes this way and you can do them either direction that's the best part when you have them big ones like that i love this one too and this one looks just like the paper the autumn paper that we had i love that one love that one so just have fun playing with these um when you get yours if you did the swap and i'll finish that one too so I hope you liked these guys and thanks for joining me tonight. I hope you liked interacting with me on the fly. Not something I normally do, but it was kind of fun. I'm always worried I won't be able to come up with anything good, but um, I hope you liked it and maybe we'll do that again sometime. Somehow I'm super crooked. I don't know why. Let me see. Now I fix it. <laughs> now that we're ending. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, I think I got everything. Anybody think of anything else I forgot to talk about? You're fine when you wing it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. Um, all right, I'll have to go back and check the comments. Now, if you want to sign up for the swap, don't forget, send me an email, stampgirl2 at cox.net. Thursday is the cutoff. You have to sign up by Thursday, and I will send out the email on Friday with all the directions and everything and tell you which group you're in and all that stuff. Oh, Tickle Me Elmo. Oh, I've seen that joke before. I think I did that joke with the Tickle Me Elmo's testicles. Yeah, I think I did that one, Donna. Um, okay. Better with the extra ribbon. I know. <laughs> Um, okay, I will see you guys back on Saturday at noon, so be ready for that, and um, don't forget the time, and make sure you sign up by Thursday if you want to do the card swap, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye, everybody, and have a great rest of your week, and take care. Bye-bye.